guys, T Squared here inside PAX 2012 in Seattle. I'm here with Alex, the global PR manager for Mad Cats. How are you doing? I am doing amazing. It's unbelievable. It's just open. Look how busy it is already. I know. It's absolutely amazing. You guys have the first booth right when you walk into PAX Prime 2012, and you guys have a lot of sick products. Can you tell me about what's going on right here? Oh, first and foremost, absolutely. Right. That's why we've got the first booth as people walk in. we got the best products. we got a stacked leather and a cornucopia new stuff. Come check this bad boy out. Excuse me there, sick man. Okay. So we've got the latest games and we've got the latest products here at Mad Cats. So check this out. Uh, this is our brand new Strike 7 professional gaming keyboard. Now we unveiled this at Gamescom. This is the first consumer event where we're unveiling the Strike 7. It is without a shadow of a doubt the most incredible, sophisticated professional gaming keyboard the world has ever seen. It's been designed to complement our range of rat mice, which have already been reviewed fantastically well. Some of the best reviewed mice in the world. The Strike 7 has been designed for the professional keyboard. Now some of the really unique, unique parts about the uh, Strike 7 is completely modular. So you can actually detach the numerical keyboard part of the keyboard. You can detach the Venom touch screen uh, component. You can detach all the armrests. And so if you're going for tournament play, if professional games are going for tournament play, they only need to take the parts of the keyboard with them that are relevant to the games that they're playing. It also means that if you've got different desks at different heights, for instance, that you can actually uh, stack you know, the main part of the keyboard on the lower uh, uh, section of the desk and the numerical keyboard on the upper section of the desk. But check this out. Look, I'm actually going to pass right here. Excuse me, Captain guys. Okay, because I want to show you this. This is our Venom touchscreen. This is the most remarkable part. I'm going to take the microphone for you. This is the most remarkable part of the Strike 7. It's the Venom touchscreen. It's a fully interactive color keyboard, and it does some amazing things. So I've got a system of macros. You can see each of these slots, you can upload icons of your choice and program those icons to match different macro commands on the keyboard. Now, if you go to the Mad Cats website, you can download icons for different games. So we've got World of Warcraft, we've got Minecraft icons, and you can actually upload different JPEGs to match the macros that you wish. So no longer do you program macro keys and forget what macros do what on what key because you've now got a visual representation for all of your macros. If you don't like any of the JPEGs from the Mad Cat site, you can design your own JPEG. You can upload a JPEG of your choice and assign it to any macro or any game you wish. So if you want to assign, I don't know, a picture of your kid brother and use that to launch a missile command, you can do that as well. That's my macro launcher. You can see here I've got full media controls. I've got my volume controls for any different application that's running in game. So if I've got multiple applications, I don't have to pause the game. I can actually just on the fly adjust my volume. I've got full RGB backlighting where I can assign the backlighting and the color controls to my keys. I've got remarkable features like, uh, so I've got my clock there as well. I've got different timers if I'm timing uh, certain levels of the game. Or I've got multiple timers if I'm playing a multiplayer game or I'm playing online and we wish to time different things, we can do that as well. I've got an interactive journal here as well, so I can assign this journal and actually type away different notes for whatever game that I'm playing without having to stop the action and go into like Word or my notebook. I've got TeamSpeak controls here as well. So if I'm playing on TeamSpeak, I can bring up my interactive control. So every single part of the gaming, uh, of your gaming portfolio, you can bring up at any point using the Venom touchscreen keyboard. It is the most sophisticated keyboard the world has ever seen. And the Strike 7 is on sale right now from Mad Cat. We're also showing off our brand new Freak 5 headset. Check this out. Again, designed to sell along the Strike 7 keyboard and the brand new Rat Mouse. The brand new Freak 5, this is coming out now. It is a killer product. Unbelievable sound quality, 50 millimeter neodymium drivers, full metal construction. So we're not using plastic here. We got a full metal construction. Uh, the little microphone here as well. This detaches, so if you're actually using it just to listen to movies or everyday audio, it's perfect. And the little inline, uh, you can see here we've got an inline cable. Check this out. So it detaches from the inline cable, ships with two different cables, one of which is USB, which is great if you're playing on PC or Mac. The other cable is just a 3.5 millimeter jack. So it's fantastic for everyday audio. Think about it as beats for the geek generation. I'm giving the microphone back to you, Tom. Let's go check out Kelly. Absolutely mind blown. Let's this is Kelly. Hey, the most customizable stuff I've seen so far. Isn't it insane? So, uh, so Kelly's using the brand new White Freak 5. Uh, I don't know. She's enjoying it. Let's let's ask Kelly. What do you think so far of this stuff? I love it. I mean, this keyboard's pretty badass, you guys. Like seriously, it's very comfortable, very light on the fingers. So far, it's not tapping really loud, which I hate. I like stealth keyboards, and this mouse is insane. It's really a uh, really interesting, a big change. Now, what games do you have here? What games are you showcasing in the Mad Cats booth so people can go and play on these awesome products that you have? Uh, we got the best games and the best equipment. So we're playing Hawken for Meteor Entertainment. Comes out December the 12th. An unbelievable looking game you're being used on unbelievable products but check this out because we got so much more over here yes my baby we got halo 4 over here 
Yeah, so we've got Halo 4. So we've got Halo 4 running here at Mad Cats. You've got to sign up to play here at PAX. You sign up to play, you enter a free tournament, and we're playing Halo 4. Now, why have we got Halo 4 here, T-Squared? Well, because we've got the brand new licensed Halo 4 headsets. This lovely lady, she's wearing our brand new licensed Halo 4 headset. This is called our Trigger. That's going to be retailing for around 60 bucks, and that comes out in time for the launch of Halo 4. Comes packaged with Halo 4 DLC as well. But check out the other side. Let's run around the other side, because that's where things get really funky here. Thank you, Cam person all right from 343 studios thank you so much now check this bad boy out this is unbelievable he is using the brand new halo 4 edition of the warhead 7.1 surround sound headset so this is the most sophisticated xbox 360 headset the world has ever seen it's the world's first and only truly wireless xbox 360 headset it's the only headset in the world to use microsoft's own security chip that's the same chip they put inside their controllers and it allows us to give true wireless chat on the xbox 360. So you'll notice that on the guy's controller, there's no chat cable, there's no Bluetooth dongle, there's no adapter, it just works. And it's the only headset in the world to sync up automatically with your console. Now, this guy's not gonna like it, but I'm gonna do something very mean. Do you mind if I just take your headset off, sir? Okay, right, so check this out. Now look at this, inside the ear cup, we use rechargeable lithium ion battery packs, T-squared, so you never run out of power. So you've got one rechargeable lithium ion battery pack, gives you about 12 hours of power. But check out the base station, I wanna show you this, this is amazing. So inside the base station, I got a little T logo there and it houses another battery pack. So I never run out of power. I'm charging one battery pack while I'm using the other one in my ear cup. So I never run out of power. Juice 24 seven. Beautiful Halo 4 branding on this headset as well. Some other remarkable points about this headset to look at. Because we're the only one in the world to use Microsoft's own security chip, it's the easiest headset in the world to connect. There's just two cables. So unlike the other guys, you don't get mounds of cables. You just get a power cable and a digital optical cable and it syncs to whatever controller is being used. Now, if I press the little guide, he's not going to like this. If I press the little guide button, I want you to check this out. I'm going to get an on-screen power prompt to show me how much power is left inside my headset. You don't get that with anybody else's headset in the world. Uses Dolby headphone technology, 7.1 surround sound. It is remarkable. It is exclusive. It is Halo 4 themed, and it is coming out this November in time for the launch of the game. We got more. You guys got more because you guys have, speaking of controllers, you have the official MLG Pro controller that actually helped design with no, Markman. You helped. You helped design this with our own Markman, right? Mark, do you like the controller? I like the controller a lot. I don't use this for shooters at tournaments, but I do enjoy it playing other games. So if nobody has seen this before, it has been designed to be the world's most premium controller experience. Removable Pro module, so you can actually swap around any of the Pro modules to any part of the controller that you wish. And it ships with two complete sets of components, so you've got Xbox style thumbsticks, you've got PS3 style thumbsticks, uh, you've got PS3 style D-pads, Xbox style D-pads, completely customizable. You've got magnetic faceplate system, you've got a removable system of weights there as well, so you can make your controller heavier or lighter depending on whatever fuel you wish. You've got a detachable uh, inline cable as well there. As well. And it's really been designed to be the world's most premium controller. It uses premium components that you just don't get with, uh, with any other controller. You did a good job, T-squared. <laughs> well, this is only half the booth, guys. We still got more stuff going on over here and now this is what I was blown away by because we know Mark Man specializes in fighting stuff he's huge in the fighting community and Mad Cats is notorious for making the best fighting sick so what do you guys got going on over here well there we go and there's Mark Man over there Mark Man just wave for the camera behind you. There you go. There's good old Mark Man. He's here drawing packs. Uh, so we're playing Tekken Tag Tournament 2. And guess what, guys? Yesterday we announced a new relationship, well, an extension of our relationship with Namco Bandai. Uh, we are working on a special Tekken Tag Tournament 2 fight stick. Now we're going to have Harada Sun here tomorrow as well. And uh, we're going to be finding out more details about that Tekken Tag 2 fight stick. At the moment, we're using the Street Fighter sticks. We can't wait to show you what we got planned for Tekken Tag Tournament 2. So you've got to keep tuning in to Games throughout the duration of the show and who knows what surprises may be unveiled in a little while from now. I may know, I may or not know, we'll see, we'll see. Let's, see. <laughs> let's head around, let's head around. Oh, well, excuse me, Mark Man. Girls, <laughs> just wave to GameSpot, say hi to GameSpot here. Hello. You know, they, there's Nina over the end. Hello, Nina. There you go. The gorgeous Tekken girls. They're hanging out with Mad Cats, of course. How are you going to beat this booth? It's going to be pretty hard to top you this booth. You cannot top this booth. You cannot top me for my caffeine level either. So this young gentleman over here, he's playing our brand new game. This is called Damage Inc. Pacific Squadron World War II. An incredible action-packed air combat game with a heavy emphasis on multiplayer. Brand new game for Mad Cats. Launched yesterday on Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. Been getting fantastic 
fantastic review so far. It's set entirely over the Pacific Theater of World War II, and it launches with its own custom hardware, the Pacific Aviator flight stick that our young fan over here is using at the moment. So we've got our own game plus hardware. It really creates a unique gaming experience. Amazing multiplayer modes, team-based battles like Scratch One Flat Top, which is four versus four, where four players have got to defend their own aircraft carrier and take down their buddies. But check this out as well. Not only do we have Damage Inc. and our brand new Pacific Aviator stick, and you can find out more at damaginkthegame.com. We got our brand new Ranger headsets here as well. Uh, this is the brand new Triton 720 Plus, which is a brand new headset that we announced just a couple of days ago. It's a complete refresh of our best-selling AX720. The 720 Plus includes 7.1 surround sound, brand new Dolby headphone chip, larger drivers. So you got 50 millimeter neodymium drivers on here as well for fantastic sound. SVM selectable voice monitoring, where you can switch on or off the sound of your own voice throughout the headset. Beautiful gloss white design as well. So the 720 headset, brand new from us here at Triton, and of course, damaging Pacific Squadron World War II. And we're going to have a tournament running on this every day throughout PAX as well. At 1 p.m., we've got a 16-player tournament going on each and every day at the show. I'm exhausted, T-squared. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. That's how you do PAX. Mad Cats is doing it right. Thanks, Alex, so much for your time. No awesome problem. booth. So impressed with you guys. Thanks. Back to you, Rich and Rob. Thanks, Rich.